When we walked into the exhibit hall, there was a giant crowd around the uh, American Printing House for the Blind booth, and we could not get in until the end of the day. So Ken Perry's been talking all day about these cool STEM calculators, and we had to come in because, you know, calculators, why wouldn't we? How you doing, Ken? <laughs> okay, doing good. Yeah. All right, so what have you got in your hands here? So, so describe it for so us. As I was saying, this is a TI-84, and this top part is as the, the part we added, and it's a graphing calculator. And this was here last year, and the reason there was a big crowd is because we have some new stuff like graffiti, and, and it actually attaches to the calculator, and I'll get to that. But let me do a simple... Um, so I'm going to describe it a little bit more. So it's yeah. a TI calculator with a module added to the top that's going to provide extensive uh, accessibility to right. a, what is an inaccessible calculator. Right, so you have speed And by out. the way, often the required calculator in high School. Right, so about 75 to 80% of the books still have TID4 examples in, them in the United States. So, you know, if you were to do a graph as a sighted person, you just do the same thing. Let's say I do Y equals, and you won't be able to hear this over the, the videos much, but we'll see what we can do. I'm going to um, move the mic down yeah, by the, yeah, the so speakers. I'm going to clear this. Uh, I'll do Y equals, and I'll do X sign X, and this will be a little louder when it starts graphing. And now it's going to, it's doing a waiting tone and says, play, there it goes. Sounds like a little R2-D2 unit. And, and is that actually doing the shape of the curve in so, audio? Yeah. So or? yeah, so let's say um, if you had earphones on, you could hear that it's in stereo and it goes across the screen from left to right. The pitch goes higher and lower depending on where you're at. So if I moved up and down, you can actually feel when it goes in the negative region, it vibrates and makes a hissing sound. But you can, so you can see the whole sound audibly and you could go back and forth. And if you wanted to hear the actual points, you change it to, to text and now if I move, it gives you, it just tells me the x-axis and or the x-point and the y-point that it shows on the screen. So it actually just said it. Now I know you can't hear it in here because this is way too loud in here, but if you hooked it up to speakers, you could actually hear it. Or you do it with headphones? Or headphones, yep. There you go, and I'm just gonna, re there it goes, replay it. That, what a great way to do it, to do it, well, duh, in audio. <laughs> so the big, the big reason people were stopping, now we do have the TI-30, which is a scientific calculator, and it has a little oh, difference. There's the real one. No, this is the le this oh, is we're, a we're scientists, yeah, engineers. Yeah. Wait, well, they both are scientific. Okay. This is just graphing and scientific. But if you didn't need the graphing, she has a much better voice. Minus four, four. See? So there she's, a, and it has statistics, scientific, uh, trigonometry. So that's highly modified. Yeah, then. it does. Well, actually, no. This actually looks the same as the original TI-30XS if you search for the TI-30XS online. But if you flip it over, you look at the side, we've actually added speaker and a battery because speech takes more battery. And if you see, it's just a little bit wider than the original. Wow. So, okay. Yeah, so it still looks like the same. But the big draw yesterday was when you're using this graphing calculator now, you can actually hook that to this. And this okay, so let me just uh, describe in audio what this is so we're looking yeah. at. So what this is, is a tactile, this is a prototype of a tactile graphing display. So this area right here is populated pins right now. Up here is going to be once we get the next units. So this whole area is going to be a tactile So this display. is like an uh, eight and a half by 11 area with a bunch of little tiny pins sticking right. up. So let me show you what happens. I'm going to turn this on. Oh, you are not going to graph on those little so, dots, are you? Oh yeah, so, let, uh, so I turn this on. Now I can't hook up the calculator right now because I don't have the Y but let me show you some simple graphs. So he's pressing some buttons on screen. Okay. Now this pin is stuck right here, okay. but this is actually a what? I'll, I'll come I'll down test from the you. left, Steve. I'll, touch, I'll can, test your. I'll, yeah, you need to do we're going to go around. Y. No, this is actually a. What we call this in geometry? Anybody? Anybody? Right. It looks like a, a, a an angle. No, it's a cute angle. Uh oh, an an acute acute angle. Yeah. Sure. Because right, right. It's cuter than yeah. most, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. sorry, I'm not a comedian. Actually, but, I always <laughs> think of uh, accentic U in French yeah. is is like that. That's right. how I remember. So now, this next picture. Did you see how fast that refreshed? Uh -huh. So this next picture is kind of squished, but what this is is a 2D representation of a 3D object. What? Yeah, it's a cube. It's a cube, right. If you notice, the lower pins are in the back, because it's different levels if you feel it, and the higher pins are in the front. Oh, right, 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 right. So in a textbook, you might see the, the back pins as a dashed line. But in, um, for a blind person, the lower pins will be the dashed line. Oh, okay. that's amazing. So if we go to the next one, what do you see here? 
I got to lean down real low to see. It yeah. looks like a cylinder. Cylinder, right. So this yeah, line right here pins. is lower in the back, yeah. and these are up on the top in the circles, right? Cool. Now, so this, this is going to be when one, when you're to the next level. You're saying this is going to be all pins. All pins. So it'll be. This is 30 by 20. When we're done, it'll be 60 by 40. There's actually four levels of height and zero would be a fifth level. So nothing is fifth, and then there's four different levels of height. Wow. Um, this I call the stadium. If you notice, there's this flat area. I say there's a little football player here. And he's got <laughs> stands the stuck pin. It. Yeah, the stuck pin. Now, you know, the stands around it. Again, these yeah, are handmade yeah, yeah. prototypes. Sure. You know, so, but let me go to what you guys for videos might know. This I call a bar graph, right? But actually, it's like your shingles on your house. You can actually feel it like waves. If you actually feel oh yeah, you can. They go up and down, up and down. So you're taking advantage of the different levels That's with that. That's right. Now, so let me show you something really cool. It's not just a display, okay? It's also, go ahead and take one finger and draw me a picture and tell me when you're done. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'll lock it. So now I can look at it. What did you do? It didn't draw. Oh, maybe it didn't press oh, hard enough? Let me try it again. Oh, no, I could have screwed up. Okay, go ahead and draw. Right, here we go. I'm drawing on it with my finger. Yep. Okay. Now maybe you've done something. It's not drawing. Oh no. Wait, well, wait, we'll get it to work. Okay. Oh, yeah. We don't want to. Don't want to spoil her here. I know. We'll make it. I want to find out what's going on. Maybe it's I that football player that. doing it. <laughs> uh, well, like we said, this is the prototype part, right? Live demo with a prototype. You know, it's, it's been working all day, right? Yeah, it has <laughs> actually. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we got it. Okay, we're just about okay, ready here. Draw. Try it one more time. Oh, now it's working. Now it's working. You're going to be able to tell what that is. Tell me when. Now? Yes, now. I locked it. So, where'd it go? It went away. Well, oh, I've I been drawing. Be, I'm drawing you a heart. Cleared. No, I must have cleared it. Let me make sure I can draw on it. I drew you a heart. Oh, uh, thanks. Okay. I'm really mad that the, Oh, there we go. Now, okay. Now I think we got out of phase was all. Try again? All right. Here we go. Drawing, yes. There we go. No, don't touch anything, it's there. No, you have it's to lock there. it because if I look. Oh, if you touch, it'll move. Okay. There we go. We got Yay, a Yay, we got the heart. Now, the really cool part about this, like I said, it's multi line. So you've drawn a nice temporary heart, kind of. Um, <laughs> I have a better heart that's, uh, but it's a university card. But that's okay. So we've got I a ran heart. ran into the football player on now my way. If I go in and I'm going to edit her heart, right? Uh -huh. So I go, let's see, da da da, and I'll push this, and now what I'm going to do... Oh, he's coloring gonna, in the part I, I messed be, up. Yeah, this is going to be very hard to see on the video, but you'll be able to feel this, so I'm going to lock it. Now, if you feel in the middle of your heart there, you'll feel I've shaded it, but it's low. Oh, yeah. Can you feel that? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I've, I've actually drawn with a level one where you were drawing with a level four, and I've shaded the inside. So okay, so go. what is this product called? This is called the Graffiti and it's a tactile graphic display from American Printing House and the Orbit Research um, Company. And when do you expect to have this available? Uh, well, we're right now starting to go into expert review. Again, we're going to have the full size one here in a few months, the prototypes, but we probably will not be selling this one till right before next CSUN. So okay, all right. We are going to be sending them out for uh, people to expert review. So if people have, you know, like PhD students that are doing tactile research and things, they really should get a hold of the American Printing House or send me an email, uh, K Perry at APH.org. That's K. P-E-R-R-Y at APH.org. Very good. Thank you very much. Pretty energetic for the end of the day. <laughs> I'm not done yet, so...